Okay, um, yo, what's up? This is Shorya, um, Royd from India, and this will be a tutorial on the inward base, and this is going on the channel of, uh, or the official YouTube channel of Beatbox International. Uh, okay, so this is uh, first of all, this is an inward sound, and it is a very very difficult sound to explain. Uh, it is basically a bass that you do during the vibration of your vocal cords using the air that goes inside your stomach. So there are two ways of breathing. One is when you use your lungs to breathe and the other is when you use your stomach using your diaphragm muscles. So this one in particular requires a lot of air. So you use the stomach. And uh, another important thing uh, to remember is that to get a control of this base, you need to be very precise with the amount of air you breathe in. So uh, to begin with the basic sound, uh, this is how the inward bass sounds. <laughs> This is the big basic sound. Uh, as I said, this is uh, the sound is uh, created by the vibrations of the vocal cord using the air while pushing the air inside your stomach. So uh, to start with the sound, uh, the basic idea is doing the opposite of a chest bass. Now this is how you do a chest bass. The same concept, but try doing this in words. Take very, very small breaths. You will feel a very little rumbly growl somewhere here. Try touching your throat over here. Bring it close. Somewhere near this, this place. And the moment you get that little rumble, just work on it, keep at it. Uh, try adding more air to it. It will be very very. It will be a very weak sound in the beginning. It will sound something like And then gradually it opens up so it is another sound that pops so This is what becomes once it is opened up now another thing is that it can hurt your vocal cords So you have to be very very careful while you do this bass the moment it gets a bit painful or you think something is not going right, stop. Take a pause, relax a little, drink some water and then start again. But you need to practice this sound a lot. And uh, there is no precise way of explaining it, this is the general idea. Now once you get the sound right, uh, there are a number of variations that you can do with the inward bass. Uh, if it is a weaker bass, you can just use it as a transition. For example, if you're doing throat bass and you want to breathe in, you can put in the inward bass as a way of breathing in. So you have a sound as well, and it is compensating for the air that you're using using the throat bass. Like, something like that. This is one variation. Now, when you get a hang of the sound properly and you know how to do it well, uh, there are a number of variations. Now, uh, first of all, to give a big, big shout out, there are a number of beatboxers who pioneered the sound. One of them is Marcus, uh, B Art, there is Villain, and there is Tyler Dabeo. There are a number of beatboxers, so you check them out. Uh, uh, variations are the first variation that I usually do a lot is using the inward click roll. The runs. Now, this is also very. Once you. Uh, you need to know the click roll, the basic middle tongue click roll. The. You need to know this. You combine it with the inward base, it becomes uh, the B Arts rocket launcher, and uh, his first beatbox television video was based on this technique. The rocket launcher, rocket, rocket launcher. Uh, another way of using this sound is by combining it with the inward case. Now the the K K K K K. An example of this is uh, Pira's video, Pira the Bounce video uh, of uh, Dirty Vine. This is a way. Uh, another variation of this can be using it in an inward track, um, which is very uh, commonly used by Sid FX uh, in his Beatbox Master European Masters video, which is. The fourth variation that I use, uh, that I do usually, is uh, combining it with the lip roll, uh, which is. Uh, uh, this, this is also a very simple sound. Uh, all you have to do is just add a lip roll to the inward bass and become it. It's all simple. Same with the inward drag. The simple. 
now one variation that I usually like a lot, I haven't been able to master it yet, is the usage of this particular technique in making a whistle, which is the you get the slight whistle sound, you can do that as well. The inward sound with this, it will give a rumble. So, uh, this was the basic idea. If you have any questions, uh, post it down and uh, I will make sure that I answer them. Also, big, big shout out to Chris and Path and everybody involved in Beatbox International and uh, big up to you guys. Cool.